Hey guys, it's Mama Fisher here. Today I wanted to share a little bit about how our family loves to fish. Poppy and Moppy shared their fish with us on their most recent fishing trip. Stop them mowing! Oh, it's cold, it's cold. <laughs> Why not stop them mowing? Because they're in the water, and when they're in the water, they'll jump out like this and go back in. Why? So they call them jumping mullet. Why? Because they jump. Why? You know, they jump. Like dolphins. They'll be in the water, and all of a sudden, they'll come out, and they'll go in the air, and then they'll go back in. <laughs> this time of the year, they're starting to spawn, so Poppy. the females have eggs in them. Poppy. And the males Poppy. have sperm in them. Poppy. Okay. All right. The way that you know if it's a female is you grab it and you push. There's eggs. In the fall, they go up on the sand and the bars and they lay those eggs, and then the males come back. And the male, probably the smaller one here, was white. There again. So that would be the sperm. If I'm gonna go ahead and take this opportunity to give you my disclaimer. We are not professional fish cleaners. So if you decide to do this, do it at your own risk. Okay, well, that's good. Okay, so cut the road. Sack's really gentle. There you go. Okay, now, there are the, there is the row. See the row? You know what row is? The yellow is the row? The yellow is the row. You know what that is? That's fish eggs. Now everybody down here really loves row. Here's the two egg sacs. So you fry those up. Just like you like to eat, you love eggs, chicken eggs? Well, these are just fish eggs. <laughs> fish eggs. Do they taste like it? Some people even will well, eat the kidneys. Yeah. There's the kidneys, there's the liver. Some people, the kidney, some people the eat dark, the kidney right there. The dark red looking thing, what is that? That's liver. liver? Just like cow's liver. Cod liver. Uh, okay. Except for it's fish liver. And then there's the What's that? gizzard. Okay, now there's the eggs, and what we're going to try to do is get them without sort of breaking, hitting them. So you come down to the end, and just pull that belly open, put your hand in there, and pull that right out right there. And there is the mullet row. That's a male. Now, it's white. Some, now that's the male sack. There's a white. The people eat those too. Um, just split that open like that. <laughs> Leave the scales on and on a grill. See? You can put that on a grill and put different type of seasonings on it. And as you know, you just eat the fish out and leave the skin on. You can also, if you're not a little squirmish about all those scales and everything, you can fillet it out all the way. You just fillet the skin off. You go down the cut and cut. Just till you hit cut. the bone. Till you hit the bone. I think I hit it. Okay, you hit the bone. All right, now you're going to turn your knife and follow the backbone. Move right, your fingers. Oh. All the way down the fish, just like you're doing. Hold yeah, this right here. Always yeah. away from the knife. You always cut away. That way, if it slips, it won't cut you. Okay. Now, you can, now if you want to hold the fish, so you just keep your hand on this side. Now, keep going. This is slimy. You did a perfect job. You did good. That is that very dog. good for the first time. Keep going until you cut off. Some people flip it over, but I've got this. So I'm going to let you cut all the way through. 
No, you did very you did good. good. That's real good. That is very good. You can't I get much meat there. That's anyway. better than your moppy. Really? Hey. <laughs> I don't do it. Well, then yeah. I'll call him. I'll see if you can do this <laughs> side the same way. So I was just kind of curious as to why everybody loves it so much. All right, so let's see why fish row is so good for you. Okay, so we've got here, all fish row are very nutritious. Fish eggs have a common benefit with fish oil supplements. That's their high component of anti-inflammatory omega-3 fats. Better than supplements. I'm actually paying, get ready, $50 for this cod liver oil supplement. Okay, my kids will take about a teaspoon of this every other day, once every three days or so. Um, and we actually put it in our elderberry syrup, but this has like tons of good stuff for your immune system. We usually take cod liver oil in the fall and the winter to get our vitamin D, A, and our omega-3s. From the research that I've done, I have read that it actually helps children as they are growing. It helps with their bone and teeth development, and it also helps our immune system. Try to get as much nutrition out of our food as possible. So that's why we spend a little bit more money for the organic and for the um, local farm foods um, so that we can get nutrition from there because it's very expensive in a family of eight. So anyway, I pay $50 for this. But that fish that we just got is actually, it was free. My dad went and he caught a ton of mullet and he's given it to us. So I'm a little passionate about looking around you and finding things like plants and animals that God has given you that can give you that nutrition that is good for you. I think cod liver oil is a great way to supplement for your nutritional needs. But if you are given food that already has those nutritional benefits, go ahead and utilize it. Stop being so picky. We would really like it if you hit that subscribe button.